In this lesson, we are going to analyze the BE with DIE, Detect It Easy. Then we are going to set up the X64 DBG to remove the break on system breakpoints. And then we are going to observe the behavior of CrackMe3. Let's get started. So we can remove the zip file now since we no longer need it. Next, open crack me number 3 and analyze it with detect it easy. And we can see that it is compiled with Microsoft Visual C 2017 and linked with Microsoft Linker. And the entry point is 401380. Now we will try to run this program and see its behavior. And now we see the opening next screen, which says I am a next screen, please remove me. So this is our first objective to remove this next screen. Let's click OK. Now the main window shows and the main window has an instruction which says remove the next screen that show up at start and end of this program and change the status to registered in the about screen. Let's click the about button to see the about screen. And now the about screen shows and the status says unregistered. Please register me. So this is our second objective to change the status to registered. Change this to registered. Click OK. Now we close the program and then the second next screen shows this is the closing next which reads I am a next screen please remove me so this is also our first objective so our first objective first objective remove the next screen And the second objective is change the status to registered in the about screen. So next step is let's do the setting for the x64 TBG. Click OK and close this. So now we can open this program with x64dbg and now we let's do some settings, click on options, select preferences and remove under events, remove this check. Also make sure this check is removed. Then click on the exceptions. Make sure you also have these exceptions. Ignore. Now you can click save. Now when we restart the program, it automatically goes to the entry point. We did not have to press F9 to go to the entry point. That's because under preferences, we have removed the break on the system breakpoint. So we have already set the setup which is to remove the break on system breakpoint. So that's all for this lesson. I will see you in the next one where we will start to solve the challenges. Thank you for watching.